A tale as old as the earth tells of how God used to live above the heads of men in Ghana. Seated in fluffy clouds and hovering an arm's reach away, he would eat and walk and work with them, then reach back into the skies at the end of the working day. But every Sunday, the pounding of Fufu would push the sky further and further away. Until after too many Sundays, the sky was so far back, God could no longer reach down and touch mankind. So he lodged himself as purpose at the back of their throats, so he could be much closer to them with every scratch. This is why design is embedded in the DNA of Ghanaians. From the potter's malleable hands, the farmer's green heart, the artist's gifted eye, the exiler's architectural display, the songwriter's nimble mind, the cook's healing fingers, the scholar's ingenuity, the storyteller's multiplicity, to the creative's resourcefulness. The way our music claims silence, as though it owns the air around it. No wonder dance has made its home in our bones. See, the unmistakable magic we make with our bodies. Our names are coded languages on its own. Selassie, Tignanangini, Inyankobia, Bunsu. How our names tell when we were born, where we come from, which trade our family belonged to, which glorious futures we are to proclaim, and which ancestors we are to morph into. You'll often hear that Ghanaian is synonymous to laid back, but that's only the design to our madness. How we create possibilities out of nothing and create lasting models from scratch. The way we weave escape routes out of nooses meant for our necks. He can see clean into the marrow of our dreams. We have made our way by simply being. By refusing to accede to lack, we are a people made from and for gold. <laughs>